I joined UCT in 1992 before the radical political changes of 1994. Rainbow Nation is a term coined by Desmond Tutu to describe post-apartheid South Africa after South Africa's first fully democratic election in 1994. I have been a witness to many changes and transformations from an Oxbridge University to a multilingual, multicultural African university with three black VCs. I have known and worked with the following VCs and Nujabulun Ndebele was my neighbor in the arts block, now the AC Jordan after his retirement. Stuart Saunders, 1981 to 1996, Mapela Rampele, 1997 to 2000, Nujabolo Ndebele, 2000 to 2008, Max Price, 2008 to 2018, and now Mamogheti Bakeng. I was also involved over the years in creative writing at UCT and worked with colleagues in this program, to name a few great writers, James Kutsier, Andre Brunk, Peter Horn, Stephen Watson, Etienne van Heerden, and Imran Kuvadia. The Roads Must Fall, Fees Must Fall movements forced us to revisit our work as teachers and intellectuals. Currently, the online teaching is yet another challenge for teachers reassessing and redirecting thinking. UCT offered me a second education and I completed a second PhD on gender in 2000. I thank UCT, Senate, my colleagues in SLL, especially Sonia Lutz and Ian van Rooyen in Afrikaans, Ron Irwin in Media Studies, and our past staff, Shirley Whitmore, Eloise Peterson, and Lizzie Wifutuse for their assistance. And of course, our Dean, Shoji Kezi. I also wish colleagues leaving UCT well in their retirement. It was a privilege to work at UCT and enabling young students and shape them for the future. UCT, as the best university on the continent, served me on a professional and creative level as researcher and poet. I will miss the discussions on all the issues in our country and at UCT. Lockdown and how that enabled us to develop a new teaching strategy we have transformed teaching to an online successful model. And for all the support and adversity, I am immensely grateful for sabbaticals and financial support. For instance, to travel around the world as described in my volume of poetry, Meditations from 2014. Istanbul, a meditation. In a turbid dream, I tear out the inside page of a book, the one on which the library's date stamp is found. The book is about them, the ones who have died, the ones who are leaving, who often make an appearance in dreams or in foreign cities, look almost exactly like a local inhabitant, except for speaking a foreign language looking up, amazed, and never returning a greeting, or who lie outstretched in a glass case in a museum, staring fixedly through sightless eyes. Their lives were on lonelies, never belonged to them. Those lives were merely a story, and the author's name in the colophon was found to be a pseudonym. That name is the one I have sought for ages. Tonight I read in that borrowed book's pages about the lives of my friends, my father, and everyone who happened to cross my path, about a life borrowed in the library of the dead. <laughs>